Today, we live in a fascinating world, a world all of us live in, obsessed with food. We, we live that fetish of food, right? We have molecular gastronomy, sous vide, this, that, mama's food, you know, slow food revolution, all of that, you know, the millions of innovation in the realm of food. This, this world of food, we almost seem to have a fetish and an indulgence and involvement with, you know, food for the body, food for the soul, food for the mind, food for karma, uh, food for the born, food for the dead. You know, you know, there's millions of Facebook pages, the Instagrams, the, you know, the WhatsApp we send to everybody, you know, la la la, look at my dinner. Pfft. Yeah, 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 great, you know, food for comfort, food for the body, food for bonding, food for company, warmth, comfort, family, fantastic words, very inspiring. This is what all of us see. You know what I see? Take a minute, read through it, big words. 50 plus known contaminants in your food. 49, I can't even pronounce, sprayed every day into your, my food. Why am I here? I'm not here to remind you of what you ate. I'm here to talk of one word, pesticide. If a little is good, a lot of it is fantastic. Five ml on the bottle you need to spray, you spray 400 ml. Five days work, one day's effort. Bang, done. What happens to all the stuff? Chloropyrifos, nerve damage, aldrin, cancer, infertility, DDT, right there, cancer, hormone disorders, infertility. I said, great, you know, let me look at one vegetable, right? I grow 197 types of them. I just picked one, cabbage. I said, let me look at my neighbor who's growing cabbage. What does he spray day zero? I had a small PPT to make, so day zero to day 10, I couldn't even capture those chemicals, so I said, let me start from day 10, nobody will catch me here. Day 10, Hastin, 250 grams of acetate, organophosphate, 150 ml insecticide, success 480, 45 ml goes on day 70. So I went to my neighbor, I said, very good job, nice, big, beautiful heads of cabbage. Would you eat them? He said, no. We just send it to the market, you know, I don't want to touch the stuff, you know. Fantastic things that I learned on that journey. Problem? No solution. I said, let's start. I went to my brothers and, you know, one evening we all said, look, there's a serious problem, you know. Let, let's do something about it. Let's, let's fix it at the root, you know. Let's invent something. Let's grow clean food. For then my unborn son and today a 10-month-old child, I promised him that you'll get clean, safe food that your father is going to get back to you at home. That was the journey we started with three of us brothers, a brave new world. It was all about the high highs and low lows, right? The big entrepreneurial world says this. I said it was all about the low, 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 lowest, and then came the high, high highs. Low lows, we didn't know where to start, whom to ask. People said, yeah, you can do this, you can do that, you can do it, you cannot use pesticide. Yes, if I don't use it, what do I use, right? Oh, you can do this and do that. There was no system. Everybody had a sweet opinion. I didn't know where to look for. Which universities do I go? Which people do I speak? Where do I How does seed even become a seedling? I'm a pilot. I've trained people how to fly. Here are my two brothers who were running multi-billion dollar p and IT companies, and all three quit jobs. My father said, if you wanted to become farmers, why did I educate you guys? We could have just, you know, stupid, right? So all of our three sat and said, let's pull our strengths together, right? The IT boys, my brothers, were damn good. Big picture, p and profit and loss statements. What they bought the strength? Project management. This Excel sheet, X grid, Y axis, day one, day 17. I said, yeah, fantastic. I don't know what to do now. Then I came to my strength, my story. What did I do in life? Teach people how to fly. I said, okay, strength number one. Failure, repeat it, repeat it, repeat it, again and again and again till you get your answers. Where did I find the answers? Mother Nature, I failed 16 cycles. Each cycle is 90 days. And then my answers came from nature. Mother Nature is brilliant, she's a fantastic teacher, awesome taskmaster, and the best giver. She gave me my lessons, beneficial bacteria. 
Basic science, good bacteria, bad bacteria, enough of good bacteria, stops the bad bacteria from coming in, you got a healthy system. Bio-derived liquids, neem oil, pongami oil, fantastic. Then one afternoon, I was playing with the dogs, one of the growers runs and says, hey, you know what, this bug doesn't attack tomatoes. So I made this little decoction of tomato leaf spray and I spread it on where this bug went and it shoo away. I said, very good, patent lawyer, hello, I got something for you. Great stuff, companion planting. There's a nasty little pest called carrot fly. Goes on top of carrots, burrows itself deep in soil, drills through the carrot, lays its eggs, comes out, flies away. Million eggs come, seven, 10, 12 days, whenever they emerge, destroy, eat the carrot, lay a million more eggs, your field's gone. What do farmers do? Spray pesticide, lots of it. What we did? Let's trick the damn fly. Let's plant coriander. He thinks it's all coriander here. They don't like coriander, they go away. Bye-bye, carrot fly, we never had the problem. Ferrament traps, fantastic idea. Female bugs smell, male bugs think, haha, la la land. Get in there, nothing but water, drown and die. Sterile eggs, break the reproductive cycle. Sticky traps, simple pieces of, you know, yellow and blue KG cardboard, right? With just gum on them, fluttering in the wind, bugs come, stick, but die. Last, very interesting, Mother Nature's gift, beneficial insects. Just a ladybug, farmer's friend, eating away aphids. Aphids are nasty bugs. They just literally destroy fields in a couple of seconds. But we said, let's use technology. All of our technology boys, right? Said, let's solve the problem. They don't manufacture land anymore. Very little land. Seven billion, 10 million, 20 billion. That's not enough land to grow. Brother said, you know what? Go vertical, dig down. So dug, and we went vertical. Today we have vertical growing systems just using simple water and bacteria that actually keep the plants going. Hydroponics, aquaponics, we have multiple systems growing. Photovoltaic, ultraviolet, infrared that grow my plants. Precision planting, you know, X and Y axis, GPS system, GIS, all in a beautiful little farm. Tons of food, you know. What is that I and you can do about our food systems, you know? Guys, grow more food, not lawns. We need a lot more food for this country, you know. Experiment and build your own systems. There's no rules in nature. What you see, plug it, go find it. Go change that little thought in your mind, go plant it, plug it, feed yourself, feed your family. You can do magic in that little 10 feet by four feet balcony. You can grow lots, trust me. In that space, we grow a lot of food, for, enough for everybody. This is my mantra. Let food be thy medicine, and thy medicine be thy food. With that, and I ask you the first question when I asked you when I started this beautiful little presentation. What's on your plate, food or pesticide? Thank you very much.